Good morning, church family, and welcome to today's episode of Cadence. Today we'll be reading Proverbs 20 and praying together. O Lord, let our souls rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. And all we say, please give us grace to voice creation's praise. Psalm 104, verse 1 and verses 10 through 12. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You are clothed with majesty and splendor. You send the springs into the valleys, they flow beneath the mountains. All the beasts of the field drink their fill from them, and the wild beasts quench their thirst. Beside them, the birds of the air make their nests and sing among the branches. In all we say, Lord God, please give us grace to voice creation's praise. Let us now hear the word of the Lord from Proverbs 20. Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. The terror of a king is like the growling of a lion. Whoever provokes him to anger forfeits his life. It is an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife, but every fool will be quarreling. The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. The purpose in a man's heart is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Many a man proclaims his own steadfast love, but a faithful man who can find. The righteous who walks in his integrity Blessed are his children after him. A king who sits on the throne of judgment winnows all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart pure, I am clean from my sin? Unequal weights and unequal measures are both alike an abomination to the Lord. Even a child makes himself known by his acts, by whether his conduct is pure and upright. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes and you will have plenty of bread. Bad, bad, says the buyer, but when he goes away, then he boasts. There is gold and abundance of costly stones, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take a man's garment when he has put up security for a stranger, and hold it in pledge when he puts up security for foreigners. Bread gained by deceit is sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth will be full of gravel. Plans are established by counsel, by wise guidance, wage war. Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, therefore do not associate with a simple babbler. If one curses his father or his mother, his lamp will be put out in utter darkness. An inheritance gained hastily in the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. Unequal weights are an abomination to the Lord, and false scales are not good. A man's steps are from the Lord. How then can man understand his way? It is a snare to say rashly it is holy, and to reflect only after making vows. A wise king winnows the wicked and drives the wheel over them. The spirit of man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all his innermost parts. 
Steadfast love and faithfulness preserve the king, and by steadfast love his throne is upheld. The glory of young men is their strength, but the splendor of old men is their gray hair. Blows that wound cleanse away evil. Strokes make clean the innermost parts. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ambrose, a 4th century bishop of Milan, said, Yes, a psalm is a blessing on the lips of the people, a hymn in praise of God, the assembly's homage, a general acclamation, a word that speaks for all, the voice of the church, a confession of faith in song. It is the voice of complete assent, the joy of freedom, a cry of happiness, the echo of gladness. It soothes the temper, distracts from care, lightens the burden of sorrow. Day begins to the music of a psalm, day closes to the echo of a psalm. Let us now spend some time together in prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for another day to praise you. We thank you for another day to be reminded of your grace and mercy. We thank you for the opportunity to see the creation that you have made. And Lord, how everything declares your glory and your praise. Help us, Lord, to be filled with praise this day as we serve you. Help us, Lord, to seek out your wisdom and peace. God, may we walk in integrity. May our children and our families be blessed. May we not stand for evil or deceit, but instead stand in your spirit and truth. Help us, Lord, to act in ways that show forth your gospel so that others may know the hope that we have in your name. God, help us to know and understand that the worth of our lives is all, con is all contingent on you and your grace. Help us, Lord, to plan wisely and to seek out your grace and peace and purpose for our lives. May we not go about slandering or, or causing dissension, but instead may we be filled with holiness. Help us, Lord, to know and understand that you are the one who will repay evil. May we be patient and wait upon you. May we know that the day of salvation is here and will come. And that, Lord God, that you are sovereign and that you are remembering how things are in this world. And that in your mind and in your life that you are bringing about righteousness and you will punish evil. God, may we never forget your steadfast love and faithfulness. And may we demonstrate that same steadfast love and faithfulness in all that we do. We ask this, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And now, Lord, we praise you for the waters, the mountains and hills, the deserts and valleys, the wilderness spaces and for all living creatures. Forgive us when we have not been good caretakers of the earth. Make us into people who practice resurrection by bringing dead things back to life and by making ugly things beautiful again. 
Amen. Friends, may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he, bring, may he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into the doors of his presence. Amen.